Welcome to a world of cheapo Chinese llamas. So there's one of the uh, these seem to be everywhere these days. Yeah, overhead valve type dealies. Oh, there's a fat aggressive cat for you. Uh, so this thing's just about a year old, and uh, towards the end of its first summer, it uh, would no longer start. So uh, I have a car off and cleaned it out. It was simply one of its devices, it would just uh, uh, run with a choke on, uh, wouldn't run with a choke off, so it was just not getting enough fuel, obviously. Uh, and the cleaner car made then kind of fixed it, but it uh, wouldn't run this year again. And have a look at this. <laughs> the car's just entirely full of crud and garbage. Yuck. Ugh. So I think the issue, on this thing, where did I put the, oh yeah, that's the bottle. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely full of trash. Ugh, rust. So this is obviously made of this steel, and it's plated with something which isn't supposed to rust, but it obviously has. And I think a major issue beyond that is the screws they've used to screw the thing together are also plated steel but the platings are so poor quality that they've been rusting there must have been a slight amount of water in the petrol gathered in the bowl of a carb when I put it away for a winter and that's just corroded everything to shit so I'm gonna have a jolly old time cleaning this trash out Ugh. Oh, that's just nasty. Now, these are rather intricate little carbs. They're not like the one you, once you get on the old super basic here, Bruce and Stratton ones. You know, the type over there, the classic cheapo Bruce and Stratton 3.5 horse. Uh, these are a lot more intricate. Lots of little passages and jets everywhere. Rather decent performing while well, they work. My, my, this lawnmower runs way better than the old Briggs and Stratton ever did. Uh, while well, it works. Also, lovely, lovely set of springs and pulleys keeping everything apart. Ah, uh, yeah. That's a good day.